Now, I myself went to college to study graphic design and also university, but I did drop out in my second year. However, I learned around 90% of what I know about graphic design and the industry after formal education. In today's video, five real game-changing tips that will help you in your graphic design career that they don't teach you in design school. And later in today's video, learn how you can get access to Skillshare Premium. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different courses across a wide range of creative areas. These are things like logo designing, just graphic design in general, web design, photography, and so much more. So yeah, stay tuned to the very end of today's video to learn more. So the first game changer is realizing that 50% of success as a graphic designer isn't related to your design work or even your skills. It is you as a person and how reliable you are. Employees, employers, or even clients in general will actually depend on you for so many different things as a graphic designer. If it's deadlines, offering some advice, or just you know being there when you're needed. Being reliable is going to determine how hireable you are for a project or even a job position. And I feel like this is something that's overlooked in design school and isn't properly communicated or taught to people. The second thing that you need to realize about graphic design and yourself is that graphic design skills are very, very versatile and very valuable, surpassing just a design position in, say, a design agency. Again, this is something overlooked in design school. They don't teach you just how valuable design skills are. I have made a video before about the kind of things you can do with design skills and how you can make money with them. Today I have the ultimate list of things you can do with your graphic design skills to bring in extra income and to bank more on a monthly basis. So get your notepad ready and start to take some notes because this list is something that you want to keep a hold of. And I will link that video at the end of this one. But you don't just have to become a graphic designer with graphic design skills. There are so many different ways they can be applied to make money in various different revenue streams. And I do think in design school, they kind of try and narrow you into a position as a graphic designer, quote unquote. Now this is a big one and it's something that really caused me a lot of problems, headaches, and also loss of money, and that is invoicing and contracts. This was not hammered home to us in design school, just how important a contract is for you in your design career. Now a contract can stop you being taken advantage of, and also it can save you a lot of hassle and a lot of headaches because you're not going to be overworked for no or little money. I lost a few hundred dollars way, way back at the start of my career because I didn't have a contract and the client just took my design and ran off basically. This isn't what you want to happen and that's why you need to have contracts in place. And this wasn't something taught to me in design school. And of course, also you do want to invoice every single client because you need to have some documentation for tax at the end of the year. The fourth point in today's video is that many designers don't realize that their work, the many hours they spend on a project, might actually end up not seeing the light of day anywhere. Quite often, actually, you work on a project for a client and they won't even use your work in any way, shape or form. It's happened to me before where I've designed a logo for a company and that company might be a startup. You know, they're just getting started in the industry. And for whatever reason or reasons, they don't get traction and they don't even use their logo. It's happened to me quite a few times, but I think designers do hold on to this hope or this kind of dream of seeing their work in real use. And of course it does happen, it's happened to me more than it hasn't, but you do need to be prepared that sometimes this isn't gonna happen, you're not gonna see any kind of fruits of your labor, apart from the money of course. And the fifth thing that graphic design school doesn't teach you is a really, really big one actually, it might be the biggest one on this list, and that is how to deal with rejection. You might have a really cool and a really down to earth lecturer in your college, someone you can relate to and someone who offers you advice in your career. But I know that I didn't get it and many people I know didn't get it and that is the advice on how to deal with rejection as a graphic designer. Because we all have to deal with rejection, you know, every single designer goes through this and even seasoned high level designers will have their work and the whole project's rejected flat out. And because it happens to everyone, the important thing is not the rejection itself is how you deal with that rejection, how you move on and learn from it. If you're weak-minded and you take it really, really personally and you kind of let it affect your whole career, you're not gonna succeed in this industry as opposed to someone who can take it on the chin, can learn from the rejection and can move on. So yeah, the sponsor of today's video is Skillshare and Skillshare is an online learning community with millions of different users taking thousands of different classes. 
Now you can actually learn new skills or nurture existing passions, or you might even discover a hidden talent that you might have. Now I'm actually currently taking a course by Gustavo Torres and I'm brushing up on my skills even though my routine is pretty jam packed throughout each day. Now Skillshare normally costs just less than $10 per month but the first 1000 people who click the link down below today and sign up to Skillshare will be granted a free trial to Skillshare Premium. So yeah, click the link down below and sign up to Skillshare and discover new skills today. So those are the five main things that I thought of in my own personal career that weren't taught to me in design school and that I feel are so, so important to take into a career. If you have any other things to add on this list, just pop them down in the comment section below. And of course, until next time, design your future today. Peace.